after that page is done copying. All you have to do is close out of that current website. Um, it'll take you back to your Gmail or your Google homepage if that's where you started. Um, and again, all you have to do is look for the Google Apps icon um, and click on Sites. Once again, you're going to have to click on the New Google Sites button on the left. And at this time, you should have two different websites. The student copy, the one that you already duplicated, and now the one that is named after you. Click on that one and open it up. After you have opened it up, the first thing that you want to do, and you only have to do this the very first time, is go ahead and publish. So you want to click on the publish button that's located on the top right, um, and you're going to give it a name. The name we want you to give it is your school username. So for this particular account, it will be DoeJ22. Uh, once you do that, hit publish. Again, it'll take it a, a couple seconds to publish, um, but at this point, you have created a website that is all your own. Enjoy.